In today's video, I'll be installing cloud panel, a free panel on Contabo VPS. Afterward, I'll also install WordPress and create a website. So make sure to use the link in the description to avoid any setup fees on Contabo. So keep watching. I hope you enjoy this. Now choose a plan. This one goes for $5 with four virtual core CPUs, 60B RAM, 100 GB NFV, or 400 GB SSD, one snapshot, and 32 terabyte of traffic. So I'll be selecting this plan. Okay, it's a $5 plan. If you go for 12 months, you save another $5. So I'll be paying monthly. And these are the features, I mean, yeah, this is what you get. So now I need to select a region. One thing you should know is that for each region, there'll be an additional fee for whatever region you choose. In my case, I'll be choosing the European Union, and then I will end up using Cloudflare CDN to save money. So I'm choosing the European Union. I'll be paying $5, no setup fee. Okay, choose okay, the storage type here. I'll go for the NMV 100 GB instead of the SSD storage. Then you need to choose an image. Also, you can choose an operating system, which is the same operating system. We also have hubs, some are paid, some are free. Okay, for those who are interested in um, blockchain, we have also apps for blockchain. So in my case, I'll be choosing Ubuntu 20.04. And then you need to create a password. Remember, you'll be logging in as root. So this is the password I choose. We have a password generator there. Make sure to save this password on Notepad or on a Word document. Save the password that you generate. Don't lose it. We'll be using it later. Okay, we are done. What else do we need to do? So fill your information. And you can see we have different payment method, PayPal, Visa card, and so forth. So I filled in my information, my email, and then I'll click next. Now I'll make the payment. I'll use PayPal. You can also use Visa card or credit card. So I'll use PayPal. Okay. I've connected my PayPal account. And so this is the invoice so this is what i'll be paying for 5.5 5 dollars and now i will make an order and pay so give it a second okay it's done your payment and order has been received it is currently being provisioned so if i go to my email and see I've made the payment five dollars to Contabo and then you receive several email the first one will have your details so with this one you have you can see your IP address here that is the IP address I want to connect that IP address to my DNS manager with my domain I'm using Dynadot so I'll select my domain name under actions go to DNS and then I'll put an A record there. And what else do I need to do? Okay, I also add um, subdomain for the panel that will be installing. We'll be installing different panels. And then I'll make sure it's an A record. And then I'll point it to this IP address. And then I'll save it and allow it to propagate. So I'm done. 
there okay so you can see your order is successfully now i can log in to log in i will need to go i will have an email address with my login details you can see that this is my login details my email and a password that has been sent so it's performing a security check and it is done if interested in two factor authentication you can activate it so for the purpose of the video i'll skip that i'll go there under vpn connect you can see we still have your server ip address the it is and then a few things you can do here you can restart your server you can stop it you can reinstall it you can rescue your server you can get a snapshot and so forth if you forget your password for the server you can reset it here under manage go to password reset so we'll be installing cloud panel on top of contabo vps it's a free hosting panel with very amazing features you'll love it so these are the requirements you can run it on ubuntu and also on debian 12 and 11 you need more than one core cpu basically two and then two gb ram a disk space of more than 10 gb so we're running ubuntu these are the scripts that we'll be needing you can also run debian with maria database both combination but in my case i'll be running ubuntu for today so choose the combination that is suitable for you the first thing we will do just go to partygen if you don't have party and then install partygen for windows i'm using a 64-bit system make sure to choose the right one for you if you're using a 32-bit system choose the right one for you once you've installed it extract it on your computer so these are the different apps we will be using the one called party this one click on it enter your ip address and then i'll call this one cloud panel save and then open so we are okay just click accept we are logging as the root type root then click enter remember the password i told you to save just go and grab your password so this is my password okay on party you just right click right click to copy it and then click enter make sure you are seeing the same screen as mine so before you run it we need to run things to update the system so we're going to run this script to update everything right click to paste and then click enter it will take just a few seconds to run the first script depending on your network speed just be patient so it's done you can see it's done so now we need to go back and install see i was running on ubuntu 22.04 with my sql database so i need to grab the entire script you can also do a maria database combination debian or with any version or operating system that is suitable for your case just for the demonstration i'll be using that combination as usual right click and then press the enter button and now you need to allow it to run give it a few minutes 
probably 10 minutes. And you can see the installation is successful. So I will highlight that. It's a link, a web address to access our cloud panel. Now I need to reboot the system. Just type reboot, reboot, and then press the enter key on your keyboard. Click OK. And now please give it around five to seven minutes to make sure the system has rebooted well before you access your cloud panel. So after five minutes, let me grab the link. Basically, it's just your IP address and a port. Click advance, continue to that port. And there we go. So we need to enter details. Enter your details and a strong password and agree. After entering a name, a username, email and password, click on agree to terms and condition and create a user. This is the password you use to log into your cloud panel. So then username and the password, then I'll log in. So the first thing we need to do is to change this awkward address to a custom one. So click on admin area and then we want to go under settings, under settings. Now remember the subdomain we created, we, mine was CP, but I went back and changed it to cloud because I'm using CP for something else. So cloud.georgewp.shop. So I'm going to install a SSL certificate, make sure, use DNS checker to make sure that the IP address is resolving for all locations. It's pointing to, the domain name is pointing to that IP address. And then I will click on the save button to install an SSL certificate to that subdomain. And the cloud panel custom domain has been saved. So now we can access our cloud panel from this custom domain, which is a subdomain. Click enter, and let's see what we have. And straightforward process, let me enter my credential, username and password. You see we have an SSL certificate installed to the subdomain. Let me log in. And now, okay, click on save to save your password. Now I need to add websites. Click add a site. So we have one click install for WordPress. We have PHP sites, a Node.js site, HTML site, a Python site, and a reverse proxy site. So I'll click on the WordPress. So the domain name I'll be using is joshwp.shop. The site title will be joshwp, username. So it will automatically generate passwords for us and password for the logging into our WordPress site. Enter your own email address here. So I'll enter this email address. And then after what, click on create. So you can see the progress bar, it's running. Allow it to finish. So these are your credentials. Make sure to copy them and save them in a secure location. I'll copy them on my notepad or you can save it even on our WordPress document. You can see you have um, your username and password for database and also to, for accessing your WordPress site. So this is what we'll be using to access our WordPress site. You have that password and then the admin URL. So now I'll go back to sites. At that site, I want to manage the site. 
So what I want to do now, I want to issue an SSL certificate to this site. Under SSL and TLS, currently we have a self-assigned certificate. We don't want that. Just go into Actions and then add a new Let's Encrypt certificate. Make sure your DNS is properly propagated. You can check that using the DNS checker tool. Make sure your domain is resolving for all the IP addresses. So I'm sure it is resolving. So now I'll click issue an SSL certificate. It's now creating and now we have a success message. Certificate has been installed successfully. So let me access my website. We have uh, the default WordPress theme and our website is secure. Type wp slash admin to access the backend. Now enter your credential. The username is admin. And then the password, this is a strong password. Enter your password and make sure to also save it on your browser if you do save it. Under appearance, I'll go to themes. And then I want to delete these ones. Delete these ones and install a new theme. I'll be installing Candace theme. Click on install. And then afterwards, I will activate it. And then I want to install the starter template makes your life easier. I'll use the classic template. I want to filter them with free option only. And then I'll select the cleaning website, click next, click finish and lodge. Now start importing. So now it says installing all the plugins and everything. I'll open this site in a new tab as you can see it's a beautiful website very beautiful website just go ahead and customize it to suit your need let me run a page speed inside you can see on the mobile phone scoring 100 the large contentful paint of 1.5 and fast contentful paint of 1.2 on desktop also we have a hundred very solid performance 